welcome to a brand new day. <laughs> Thought I'd say that at least once. Anyways, I'm here alone in the barn. I don't know what happened. Laura goes to the barn with two girls. I go to the barn with nobody. Morning, guys. Morning, Storm. You guys all right? Hey, Stella. Ooh, look at all the patient horses. <laughs> oh, you're not that patient. So it's a nice, cloudy day out with a lot of fog. I like fog. We don't get fog that often here in Canada. Well, at least where we are, we don't get a lot of fog, but sometimes it's nice. It might be a hot and humid day. And today we're trucking out the horses to do our lessons. Which should be interesting. I'm just waiting for Gabby to get her butt down to the barn so she can help me put Finn and Storm out in the grassy field. Oh, you finished all your grain. You finished all your grain? We just gotta wait for a slow poke. Slow poke. It's not that he's slow. It's just that he has so much grain to eat because we keep up his uh, muscle mass and everything. Tip top shape and Probably when Finn get up to par like that, he might go on that as well. He's getting there. That's why we need to get a new saddle for him already. Because he is um, building muscle and shaping up. Hey Finn, you shaping up? You need a new saddle now. Yeah, you have no more grain. You ate all your grain. <laughs> But you're gonna get to go eat some grass soon. This town's so lame, I'm feeling so wired. It's 4 a.m. I'm not even tired. We're in your car, we can drive away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost there. I'm loving this feeling of something new. Just write what I needed. Take me there. We can. guys welcome to today's video today's Thursday for us and it's gonna be a crazy one um yes no. little girl in the pink raising your hand what would you like I realize I don't have to rest my hair I can just put it up and yeah that's not real do not realize that it is not real there yes, is still is. hair brushing right to be here. had in this family right here. um here. Gabby do you remember this jacket who remembers when we bought this jacket for Gabby Try this sucker on. This was like the beginning of a dream. It symbolized the beginning of a dream. Her horse. I just got Storm. Her very first horse. She just got him. His color was red. And it was uh, probably her very first matchy match thing yeah. with her saddle pad. Hey! I knocked it down. Well, she knocked everything down. Oh, guys, we got a brand new water bottle. Yeah, we got new water bottles yesterday. But uh, let's see. Bit, last year was a bit big. Let's sure. stand up and let's see. Yeah, you're, you take after your mama. Can't keep me myself I clean. Did chores. Yeah. You guys did. I'm doing chores at the house. Come on, stand up. Let's see that baby. So many people asked us where we got these jackets. Sophie has a pink one. It fits me better than last year. Yeah, it fits so good. Well, anyway, I found it in the basement in a box, so I'm gonna leave it out, and you can wear it whenever you want. Moving sucks. You can't find anything. I can't find any of my baby dolls. Yeah, so if you can't find any of her baby dolls, I do not know where they went. But anyway, uh, good morning. Welcome to this rainy, beautiful, glorious, horrible day. No, just joking. I get so stressed out with the rain. And it's not the rain, it's the dark. Like, when you live six months out of the year in the dark, then you'll understand. It's like, it's hard. My soul is ready for the light. I need some light in my life. So. This is the three water bottles I bring to camp. Oh, 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 did you even tell them about camp? No. Are you going to horse camp this year? Yes. 
Yeah, we thought we weren't going to get to go to horse camp because Fiona's barn closed down. But, but you then the new barn! Yeah. See that. Yeah, so we are going to get to go to camp. So all the water bottles that I'm bringing to the horse camp is mine. Um, so, so when you said, hey, know. Mama, I need a new water bottle, what you meant was, Mama, I just want a new water bottle because you already have a gazillion water but bottles? But this one's pretty. Oh my gosh, what that is so wasteful, Sophie. Next so I time. I have my green water bottle. I have my. Uh, this is mine. Water. Anyway, on the agenda today. I'm twice this year because Sophia can't stand to be not with me at horse camp. So I'm going to advance camp. If you think you just heard Gabby screaming her head off, yeah, it's because she has her earphones on, which she needs to take off. Um, and she doesn't think that we can hear her, and we can. But it's true. Girls are going to camp this year. Gabby's going to advanced camp. Like, that's a shocker. Uh, the rules are she has to be 13, but our trainer made an exception because the group of girls that are going to advanced camp this year are all a little bit younger, so she'll fit in a little bit better. This is how I carry all my water bottles. Sam has gone to a, an appointment, but he has the trailer all hooked up outside, and the girl's job before he gets home is to have the trailer packed. And you're probably wondering, since yesterday's video, poor Finn has no saddle that fits him. What are we going to do for Sophie's show? Well, you guys are about to find out in today's video. up to the gate even though he's like I don't know Sam's at a meeting and then we have to take our horses to go riding but we need to go when are we gonna go tomorrow and buy all the things we need for the show like today's the day we have to get it done because next week is our show so we need bug spray desperately um what else do you think we need I think we need to get a show sheen I don't know what else we need you guys comment below what else do we need we need yeah, we need a saddle. That would be a good one. Saddles are hard to buy, though. We're going to try and get a custom. Gabby, are you ready? All right. There's a hole right there. So, Fiona told me that our paddock is too small. We have to make it bigger. One big, huge one. Okay. To the midnight radio. gorgeous out kind of cool when there's breeze and then when there's not a breeze it's so humid anyways um storm looks like the reason storm doesn't jump over the mud when gabby's with them is because it's like he looks at her like i when i've watched them it's not just that they have a bond he looks to her as a leader why don't you guys get all your stuff and pack up the trailer Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love It's almost time to go to the barn But we are headed to the tech store as fast as we can Because we need to get the things that we need for the show And I just can't remember what we need I know we need bug spray for sure And we need a show sheen Do we have enough shampoo? What? Do we have shampoo? Yeah, but we are gonna need more for like 10 shows. Yeah, 
we have a lot of shows. We got caught in construction, so now we have 10 minutes. 10 minutes, girls, which is good because then they have less time to suck me into getting stuff. A few years later, I have started thinking if it's just love in every glass I'm drinking, we're like one and without you, I'm sinking. So, okay, so do we I'm thinking fast? Yeah, Grab it and go. Green spot removed. Wait, I think we need this. I think we need this. Do we have any bottles at home? That we can... Mm, I don't think so. We have a bug spray bottle that we can put it in. Look at that. Shoshin Miracle Groom is bath in a bottle. Yeah, let's go. All right, that's it? That's it? We're just getting two things. What right. else do we need for shows? You're all red, Sophie. Rubber bands. Oh, no, we don't need rubber bands. Oh, yeah, we need Yeah, we do, Mom. No, you don't use no, it. You actually don't need them. We use thread. Yeah, we got them. Yeah, you have all right, let's go. mane and tail shampoo and conditioner already. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking, we're like one and without you I'm sinking. I'm always shining next to you. I dropped the camera. Whenever you drop the camera, you're like, oh gosh, because yeah, you need your camera. Anyway, um, I'm gonna show you guys what we ended up getting. Our textile store is the kind of store that convinces you about the things that you need. Anyways, we ended up getting da -da -da -da, a whole caddy full of show stuff. Isn't that cool? It was buy three and get one free. So we got the caddy for free because we bought three different things. This is the bug spray that we use. I wanted the big, huge bottle. We go through like three of those in a year in a summer. And um, they didn't have it, so I ordered it. So now I have a fly bottle, spray bottle at home already. So then now we'll have two. Gabby will have one and Sophie will have one. So we can just use the big bottle and split it and put it into both these bottles when we run out. Um, we got Shoshin, which um, I, if you buy, it's two dollars cheaper if you buy it without the spray and if you guys remember at a yard sale i bought a whole bunch of spray lids for these things from a tax store closing so um i saved two dollars on that and then we got miracle groom bath in a bottle why did we get this i don't know <laughs> because we wanted the tote it's good for men it's like a spot remover. it's a spot and stain remover so basically it's like a miracle room for any horse like for any spots and she was saying also like in the winter when we can't bathe because it's so cold you can use this to keep your horse looking good so yeah so we have all that and we can put our like one more thing inside this tote and bring it to shows with us it's cute Hi. Uh, just as we were leaving there was a man an older man again actually he might have been our age i don't know um standing in our driveway standing outside our horse trailer where the girls just put all their tack and looking in the horse trailer. And so he looked out the window and she said, somebody's standing in our yard. And I was like, oh gosh, not again. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we're going down a big hill. That's fine. Oh, <laughs> didn't just drop down. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I uh, have said before that I really struggle with being kind when I'm like frustrated or upset. Like I, I, it's a big, huge struggle. And every time I'm not nice, I always feel really bad. And Sam is always nice though. But not today. Today, when we went out there, I was like so motivated by um, Jen from Ottawa who commented on today's video about how every single thing that you say and do to somebody has an effect on their life. And it really hit home with me. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and make every connection that I have with people a positive one. It gave me courage to keep moving. And then I also- you were going out to yell at him like- mm -hmm. Did you? And then- Dad yelled at him, but not me. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, Sam did not yell at him. Sam said, get off my property. But basically, yeah. Um also so another you lady. Want me to come by where do you live so I can go by your house and ask you what's for sale in front of your yeah, house? Yeah, he basically came and said, Hey, I saw you see you have a trailer there. Is it for sale? Are any of these things for sale? And Sam was like, Get off my property right now. Yeah, like I know our yard looks kinda like a junkyard at the moment, but Anyway, so who goes to somebody's yard? Who goes to somebody's house and says, "Do you have anything for sale?" He didn't say, "Do you have anything for sale?" Yeah, he says, "Any of these trailers or anything for sale?" I'm like, "Is there a for sale sign on it? Does it say for sale?" 
he's gonna put a sign up that says not for sale but I want to just say I want to just say that our no trespassing signs that are sitting in the car still are not helping are not helping anyways um, another lady was commenting that on our channel today that she said that she's a dog groomer and that she tries to always be helpful and kind when she's dealing with her clients and that's a big thing too and both of those comments together motivated me and I did it you guys I went out there and I was super kind and just explained you know we're from the city we're not used to people just um, coming onto our property and asking us about our stuff it's been happening a lot and so uh, he's getting frustrated <laughs> But yeah, so I did it. I did it because of you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chasing pavement on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. I'm delighted cause I got you. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.